Welcome to this practice for anxiety relief. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a way that we can find a safe place in our body to move our attention to so that we don't become so overwhelmed and controlled by fear, our anxiety. So in order to do this, we'll work with the mindfulness faculties of attention and intention. And so we'll start by either laying down or sitting. And we'll take a posture that's strong and straight if we're sitting. Becoming aware of where our hands are, aware of where our feet are. And just having that attention to have a posture that is upright, noble, and worthy of respect. We do this because the posture reflects our mind state. So if we have a posture that is open and courageous, that helps the mind. So now we'll shift our attention to our hands. And we'll put our hands in a carrying position where we hold our non-dominant hand with our dominant hand. And we'll hold them at the solar plexus just gently against the solar plexus. Holding our non-dominant hand with our dominant hand. And just gently feeling those sensations that may or may not be there. The hands are always a safe place to put our attention. In the second step, we will share our attention between our toes and our hands. And to help to facilitate that, we will have an intention of, may my toes close. May my toes curl just offering something that's simple, requires more mental capacity, and shifts the attention away from overthinking and anxiety to something caring and lovable that we can do. May I feel my toes close. In the third step, again we have our attention shared between our toes and our hands, and we can move this attention back and forth. The mind doesn't like to stay in one place for very long, so this works with the natural quality of the mind wanting to move, to be on guard, to have something different to focus on. So now we can offer an intention for our toes to open. May my toes open. So we just gently sit in this upright, strong and straight posture aware of the sensations in our toes, the sensations of holding our hands,
And if you like, we can move to the fourth stage, where we have our attention both shared on our toes and the in-breath. And again, we can use a caring intention to guide the mind towards that. So it could be, may I breathe in slowly. And again, just sharing our attention, which we can move from one place to another. And we're sharing our attention with our toes and with our nose as we breathe in. Two different places on the body. Breathing in, I feel my toes. And if we like, we can slightly curl the toes. So our body functions by closing and opening. So we use simple language. And we can add some closing or some tension to our toes. so that we get more familiar with tension in our body. Because when we're feeling anxious, there's also tension in our body. So by intentionally putting a little bit of tension into our toes, we're making friends with that quality that our body and anxiety produces, the tension of anxiety, the tension of worry. And in the fifth stage we can again have our attention on our toes and then on the out breath. May I breathe in slowly and lowly, breathing down to our toes, opening our toes, and letting go, just letting go on the out-breath. So on the in-breath we know the sensations that are in the body, and in the out-breath we just let go. And then we repeat this gentle cycle, this cycle of mindfulness, becoming familiar with tension in our body, and learning how to use that tension to our betterment. We can add tension to help to bring us into the present moment, and to bring caring to ourselves. And then Maybe later after weeks of practice, we can invite some tension, maybe some tension in our, in our throat, to be there at the same time that we are just in this peaceful presence of feeling our in-breath, feeling our toes, and then we can explore tensions elsewhere in our body. And again, this is a practice that takes time to develop, and it's important to be gentle with ourselves and not to expect too much.
So if we do this practice 10 minutes on a regular basis, maybe on a weekend we have more time, we could do the practice for 20 minutes, it then becomes a second nature for us throughout the week.